Grand Rising family, welcome to your um, Monday the 5th True Love Journey Daily message. Also, I believe that Mercury officially goes retrograde as well. So, happy Mercury retrograde. We all know the rules. <laughs> uh, you know, things to be aware of and look out for during Mercury retrograde. You know, people returning from the past, memories, past memories, as well as slowing down when we're making our travel plans, when we are traveling, leaving a little bit early, checking our cars, doing all the service checks and our tires, uh, making sure we slow down when we're typing and when we're communicating. There could be miscommunication during this time frame as well. Um, just really slow down right now, right, at this time. Uh, take your time with your technology and uh, we're meant to slow down. We're meant to revisit, redo, revise, reorganize. A good time to clean your home as well. Get rid of things that no longer revisit things from the past that needs to be revisited. You know, good, great time to make amends. There's some people that are going to return from your past. Some of them are meant to return to resolve things. The re All the re's, right? And others are are not just meant to stay, okay? So just use your discernment and your intuition when it comes to that, uh, to these returns, right? To old people, could be old, you know, old friends, family members that you haven't heard from in a while that all of a sudden thinks of you, pop up in their dreams. Um, there could also be, you could be having strong dreams about people and situations in your past that you really haven't, that, you know, that there's still some unresolved that you haven't, that you haven't talked to in a while or that you may have felt hurt by or betrayed by. They may pop up in your dreams or in your memories. Okay. At this time, it's so that you can get your own closure so that you can, you know, see things from a different perspective, see that it's not personal. It wasn't personal. They were operating from their own wounded inner child, or you were great time for you to forgive yourself as well. If things come up for you that you know, um, you're being guided to, to look at. Okay. So, uh, right now emotions could be running really high during this time frame. Um, uh, sit with those emotions. They, they do have a message for you. Feel all the feels, allow yourself to cry. This is going to be a, a, a period of, um, slowing down a period of remembrance to redo, to revisit, to revise, to reflect, reorganize, reassess, Okay. And, um, reconciliations as well. Strong on that. So double, triple check your travel plans, double, triple, tri double, triple check all of your, you know, um, contracts that you're signing. Not a good time to start new things at this time, as far as new jobs or, <laughs> or new relationships. Okay. Um, but you know, to each his own and, just do what you're guided to do intuitively. Right now, it is a great time to follow your intuition and your discernment and your higher self, okay? So let's go. So I was in meditation before I did this reading. I was going to do two more meditations before I did this reading, but I didn't want it to get too late because I get drained closer to the end of the day. Um, and I, there was a really strong message, I and, and it came out for Instagram as well. And the message was um, a very, there's a very strong pull that's happening right now in the heart area for the divine counterparts. There's a strong um, pull in the heart, right? Uh, uh, the telepathy is really strong right now. There's a the strong magnetic pull, the yearning of the soul, the longing of the soul, the missing. It, it's becoming unbearable and really hard to resist because it's actually hurting that's what, that's what I felt. That's what I heard in meditation. I miss you so much. It hurts is what I heard. The longing is, it's like, but, but there are people resisting that, the, not following their intuition because of fear of rejection, pride, ego, you know, um, and, and so on. Right. So let's see what we get. I'm curious because this was such a strong message. The magnetic pull is extremely intense right now. Um, the, the, the longing, the calling out for each other is really strong right now and the soul. Okay. So, all right, I'm going to use the mirror, the, the mirror Oracle. I want to see what is the divine masculine's energy here? The divine masculine's energy towards, towards 
They're divine feminine. Split the deck to twin flame. I can't make this up, family. You saw it. You saw it. I can't make this up. The strong pull, the strong magnetic pull is crazy intense. It's only getting stronger and stronger. Okay, let's go ahead and keep that. We have soulmate here at the bottom of the deck. So they're feeling, they're feeling the call. They're feeling the pull here. Okay, the divine mountain. Show me the divine mountain. So this is what I'm talking about. I heard it. I was doing an a intuition meditation that um, that I do regularly to strengthen my gifts and my abilities. And, um, and, and during the time, the part of the meditation where you receive, that's what I kept hearing nonstop. I kept hearing, I miss you so much. It hurt. It's like, it's felt in the heart area. It's a pain in the heart, a pull, a pull that's so intense. I felt it all family. So it was very, very strong, very, very strong. Though you feeling each other's energy right now at this time, really strong. Okay. So tell me more about the divine masculine's energy towards, towards their divine counterpart. Um, split the deck, twin flame. Right? So that's that strong, deep, spiritual connection that you have with somebody. Okay? Uh, labels aside, sometimes the labels can do more harm than good. You know, um, labels aside, th that's very 3D as well. This is a very strong, spiritual, soul, deep connection. Very deep that you have with somebody that is transformative. Right? Life-changing. It's a life journey that you're on with somebody in this a past life soulmate, okay, that you're meant to, you know, <laughs> come together in this lifetime to help to, to help each other break patterns, programmings, conditions to heal on the soul level, to awaken, to align with your mission and your purpose, okay, to help each other here ascend and the planet to ascend as well. So this divine masculine is in the dark night of the soul right now, okay? Um, and we've been seeing that this divine masculine has been on the verge of coming out of the dark night. Yeah. Look, soul contract that you have with this person and they feel it and you feel it. Okay. Um, so we have here within a year, look at this, the telepathy, telepathy here, really strong. We have one sided here. It's been one sided. Uh, they could be in a one sided situation. Yeah. That's what I'm getting here. They could be with a false flame having the telepathy calling you in here. Okay. Um, so let's see here, a one-sided situation where it's not reciprocal. So the dark night of the soul is the death of the ego, right? It is the ego that keeps us apart. It is the ego that keeps us, you know, um, away from each other and fear that creates that division and the separation. So the dark night of the soul is the death of that old identity. And the thing is, they're still in this process. You're a little bit more ahead. The divine feminine, if you're, you're, if you're the divine feminine watching this, you're a little bit more ahead on your journey, okay? You already reached the light. They're still in the seeking, okay, energy. So they know that they have a long journey ahead of them where they're headed. I took, let me grab my phone. I took some notes right after meditation. Okay, I'm back. So it's like if it's like this, it's like this this uh divine masculine is in the hanged man. Okay. We keep seeing that they've been in the hanged man and they've been in the knight of pentacles energy. And the and, and this process that this person is on cannot be skipped. Okay. Uh with the knight of pentacles, the knight of pentacles cannot be skipped. You've been in the Knight of Pentacles. This is that very slow moving energy. They're, 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 the thing is, is that they ha they're awakening to a lot of things right now. They're awakening to the soul contract. They're awakening to the love, right? Every single time there is that pull. There is that yearning in the soul. There is that missing yearning, longing in the soul that we've been, you know, picking up on. That is, uh, Again, a huge message for them, right? Their soul is guiding them to where they're meant to be, to the love, okay? Sometimes the logical mind wants to make sense of it, but it does defy explanation, doesn't it? 
all of the superficial things that people tend to do to uh, fall in love, right? The 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 status quo that uh, you know, I go out on this amount of dates and we spend this amount of time together and uh, we talk about all our favorite all of our favorite things and 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 we share all of the superficial things, um, you know the. The, the basic stuff, right? And then the and then we, we think we're in love and then we, we we get married and then we live miserably ever after, right? That's not how this works out. That's not how this works. This is a, a very gradual uh love is patient, love is kind kind of situation, love indoors kind of situation. This is a soul based so you don't do all the superficial things you know uh, how can I explain this? The soul falls in love here. It's hard to explain why my soul is calling out for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have past life together and we remember all those things, right? The soul remembers. Okay. Our mund, our 3d mogul, uh, we're like, what do you mean? I, I, I hardly know you, or we haven't really spent that much time together. How, how is it that I already love you? How is it that my soul already loves you? We didn't do all of the superficial things you know, out in the, in the, in the physical world, go out on this amount of dates and, you know, introduce you to the family and do all of the, you know, status quo stuff, right? The, what is it? The societal stuff, right? To, and then for us to fall in love and, and all of that, that's not how this, that's not how this work. This, this has happened in the 5d, right? Uh, yeah, there were times where you came together and it was that explos explosion of passion, that explosive fireworks, that intensity, you know, that uh, activating of the soul that took place, you know, every time it, the intense meetings that you've had with this person. But it's like, it doesn't matter if you don't know this person's favorite food or favorite color to fall. That, that's what I meant to say, to fall in love with this person. You think that it's not possible because you may not know this person's favorite that's just an example. You may not know what this person, you know, routines are from their day to day, or, you know, if they like to sleep with socks on or not, or, <laughs> you know, things, little things like that. Right. But it's like your soul has re recognizes this person and, and it's, and it's, and it's life changing, right? The soul is unraveling. The soul is going through an awakening. The soul is going through. So again, that knight of pentacles energy, you know, there's absolutely nothing, these mundane, superficial status quo things, you know, 3D societal things that, that people do, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But how beautiful would that be doing that with this, with, with this person that you, that your soul is already in love with, right? How much more enjoyable would that be, right? So it's like when you have an opportunity to get a chance to do that, you know, um, enjoy the world, enjoy life, enjoy the physical, the beautiful, abundant, um, physical aspects of our beautiful life and our universe together, You're doing the things out in the world together with somebody that you have this kind of connection with, how magical would that be, right? How perfect that would be the dream life. That would be the perfect <laughs> white world, right? The perfect life, that fairy tale life, right? Um, instead of, just uh, settling and 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 going out with 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 people and and you know feeling like time is running out so I really got to fall in love with this one you know let me just ignore all their red flags and all the things that are non-negotiable for me you know and uh because I really want to get married you know I really want to get married I really want to have a husband or a wife and time is running out for me and let me just uh you know date this person and let me just hope it works out and let me just uh force myself to like this person, you know, uh, like that kind of, that, that kind of stuck that, those kinds of relationships. That's not, there's no deeper intimacy, emotional intimacy, soul bait. When you know you're in a soul based connection, you will know because your whole life will change. Your whole life will transform. Okay. Dark night of the soul, the whole, your whole old identity will, you will feel lost as you lose your entire whole, whole identity here. Okay. Who was I talking to about this? I was talking to, um, oh yeah, true. You know, it's your true love because they will transform with you, heal with you, ascend with you, evolve with you. Okay. If they don't, then that's not, 
that's not good because true love is changing, is life changing and transformative internally and externally. Your entire, your soul will ascend. Your soul will evolve. You, you will progress. There will be personal growth and personal development. There will be an inspiration to. Sorry. There will be, you will feel inspired to evolve, grow and change and step into your purpose. All your chakras will activate. Uh, your heart, especially, right, and um, and you will heal on, in the on the deepest of levels. Okay, so that's how you know if you're in a situation where that's not happening, or that you know you're only getting you're you're not progressing, you're digressing, right? You're only getting worse, and uh, you're feeling stuck, and you're depressed, and you're sad, and you're you know having anxiety, you're constantly sick all the time, constantly fighting, constantly arguing, you know, um, and it's abusive emotionally, physically, verbally, mentally, uh, and you're extremely, the, there is no middle ground. There's no respect. There's no growing. Uh, then you're, then you're not in a, that's not, that's karmic sounding very karmic. Okay. Twin uh, false twin flame, perhaps, um, so, uh, or again, uh, one of those superficial, you know, 3D type of relationships. Okay, so that's really how you know is because, again, definitely Google Dark Night of the Soul, or watch Dark Night of the Soul videos on, on YouTube to have a better understanding so you can understand what's going on with you. This right here talks about how one's entire life, okay transforms and changes their whole entire identity that they put a lot of value and worth on dissolves. Okay. It falls apart. It crumbles to the ground. And sometimes when you go in the dark night, a person that's going through their spiritual awakening, that's in the stage of the dark night, they lose everything. This is a spiritual depression. Okay. That that's going on here. Okay. Someone's, um, so this, this masculine here, this is a soul contract. Let's get some more. So yeah, so they, we've been seeing that they're in this, uh, hanged man energy as well as knight of pentacles energy. And it's a day by day regeneration thing. Okay. That you, uh, it's a process that you apply every single day. It's about, you know, your daily routines and your daily rituals, that, um, end you in, uh, long term. Okay. It's, it's, we're headed towards the long term that end in the long term, creating significant change, but it really is about, you know, um, the application of the process, right. And your daily habits and your daily routines. And it's a one day at a time. It's a one step at a time. That's why this person has been taking a very long time. Okay. Um, that I was in the dark night of the soul for like five years. Okay. Then I got out and I went back in for almost a year. So now I'm thankfully out of it, <laughs> but it, it, it's like this, it's an in and out process of healing. Okay. So we're going to have one more for this divine. I did see that soul contract. Yeah. And it is a love it. Like your soul recognizes each other upon, upon meeting. Can I have one more for this divine masculine's energy here towards the divine feminine? within a few months. Okay. So this, this masculine still has, still has some, you know, some releasing to do here. Okay. And the dark night of the soul, the dark night of the soul. And look, we have divine feminine here at the bottom of the deck. Apology here. Apology to the divine feminine. Okay. Within a few months. So within meaning between now and it feels like between now and the end of the year, okay, for some. And then we have, because they're still in the dark night. And then we have the 3D world. Yeah, so past life here. There's the true love. True love, past life. And we have starting over, manifesting, marriage in the 3D world. I can't make this stuff up, okay? So manifesting marriage in the 3D world, okay? Okay. So coming, so basically we're going to be coming out of the 5D where you are right now and uh, feeling each other's energy really strong and it'll, it'll be grounded in the 3D world in, in divine timing. That's why I said, just keep sending your divine masculine here, your uh, love and your light and your healing energy and your prayers. We're definitely going to get some messages from them as well. 
So let me see your energy, uh, Divine Feminine. What is your energy here towards your, your Divine Masculine? Split the deck. It's like you know that it's a faded connection. There is no, it's undeniable. We talked about that. You feel this person. This is a destined and faded connection. You're meant to be, right? And then we have message here. You could be wanting to reach out to them. They could be wanting to reach out to you. You could be contemplating that, okay? Um, the, again, you feel that pull, that magnetic pull to reach out to your divine counterpart here. Show me the divine the feminine's energy toward the divine masculine. We have here a fair. So again, uh, it feels like an endings. Okay. You put an ending to some kind of an affair because it feels like there was a third party here, right? And you don't want that. Okay. You rejected them. Okay. There's a rejection here. You said goodbye because, um, you don't want to be in a third party situation, right? So, um, so you, you put an end to it. That could be what we've been seeing in the readings lately that there's been some, you know, an abandonment, a, a goodbye, an ending, a walking away because they may have made a return while still, while still entangled in their false twin flame or karmic situation. Okay. And, um, yeah, signs, signs towards unconditional love here. Okay. Yeah. And it feels like you've been struggling here. You, you don't want to be stuck. Okay. You've, you've been struggling here, uh, to free yourself from this, but you have been doing a great job at that. We've been seeing it. So it's a very clear message. You don't want to be in, you want you don't want to be a part of any third party here with this affair card, right? This, this love affair, the secret affair. <laughs> okay. And so you, you said, no, this isn't for me. Uh, 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 I rather, I rather go, I rather let you go and, uh, and, and, you know, attempt to move on with my life while you figure out your, your situation and what you want to do right with your life. And you removed yourself from the party. Okay. So very good. Good for you. I took a lot of strength. We've been seeing that lately that you, uh, been going through an ending, been going through a heart, heartache. Okay. And a releasing, a walking away. We saw that for the past few days on your, on the divine feminine's end, we saw 10 of swords, eight of cups. We saw a lot of that. Okay. Uh, we even saw in yesterday's reading or the weekend reading, we saw, uh, the orphaned card, the abandoned card, right? Maybe that's what triggered this masculine's dark night. But okay, let's see here the divine masculine's energy towards the divine feminine. They 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 are feeling called intuitively and guided to apologize to you. It's like this, it's like this is hard for me to do. This is hard for me to say goodbye, but you leave me no choice. This isn't what I want, but it doesn't leave me you don't leave, you leave me no choice. Because I'm not, it's about your self-worth. It's about your self-love and your self-respect and your karma, right? And your karma, even though you know this is faded and you're meant to be, and you feel this person's energy everywhere, all around you, inside out, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's taking everything for you to be strong. Okay. Especially when you feel them pull, pull to you, call to you, call out to you, uh, energetically in the 5d. And, um, yeah, so we have the fool here at the bottom of the deck for the divine masculine to the star. Okay. So <laughs> double Aquarius energy. And then we have to the emperors, the divine feminine here. So looks like that they looks like I heard, I didn't expect this love to run this deep. I'm taking a leap of faith, right. And following my dreams. So, um, heavily guided here. The stars are aligning for this. Okay. For the bottom of the deck for them to take this, to go on this beautiful new beginning here with you. Um, there's again, this is still very much at a distance, right? With the star card, it's still up in the ethers. Okay. So there is still a lot of, it's like, you can feel that this is happening. Uh, can I have what show me spirit? This is this person's whole wish. 
Show me the divine masculine as energy towards the divine feminine. There's the apology. There's the apology. Page of Cups. The divine masculine here. The emperor. There they are. Yeah, in the process here. They're still in this coming out of this healing. Yeah, look. Knight of Pentacles energy. We just finished talking about the Knight of Pentacles. We can't skip this process. This is about our day-to-day day -day stuff, our day-to-day -day routine, our habits, our rituals. It's a one day at a time. It's a one step at a time energy, right? To get to the finish line. But it's like they're taking the steps. It's very slow, but they're taking it. I'm walking home to you. I don't know where I am on the path, but I am walking it, okay? They're coming out of a, a dark night, a, a, a cycle, right? A, of heaviness that they felt, a healing that they've been healing. And, you know, they're in the process of feeling the light again, seeing the light again. I, I remember when I was in the dark night, there were moments of flashes of light that I would start to feel lighter and feel better. And I would come out and I would have a few good days. <laughs> I would have a few good days and, uh, or sometimes more than a few. And then whew, here we go again for another round, right? So they're in the process of making a huge decision. Okay. Um, wow. Tell me more about this, uh, divine, divine masculine energy here towards the divine feminine. Yeah, there we go. Movement here, momentum and energy, communication and travel. If they're at, if they're at a distance, yeah, there's that death process that they've been going through that, uh, transformation. Okay. So that they can have this solid new beginning here with you. Yeah. They are releasing a lot. They're releasing a lot in this old cycle. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and uh, the World card here. So they're in the process of completing a major cycle here of healing, of release, okay, of uh, a lot of past life trauma and a lot of trauma in this lifetime that has pinned them down for a long time. So um, can I have one more? Where you are on your journey, a Divine Feminine. Um, you're not at a, at a place in your journey where you would even be comfortable in one of those types of 3d superficial connections that I mentioned earlier, you know, if it's not soul based or spiritual, you know, we have plenty of soulmates. Okay. And, um, those are also pretty powerful, pretty intense, pretty beautiful connections to explore, right? And, uh, and, and, and a lot of times they come into our lives for, for a purpose. Okay. So, um, I wouldn't, you know, wait around on anyone. And if the universe wants to bring in different opportunities and options, definitely explore it. You you're at this space on your healing journey, on your ascension that you're just, you won't resonate with somebody that's in, that's still in the 3d. Okay. That's not a, on the, on the ascension where you are or moving towards there. Okay. That's not waking up or that's not, even if it is a soulmate, even if there is a physical attraction or chemistry. Okay. Um, uh, you're not in this, in this, in this space where it would resonate, where it would even work, where you will even have the same views, the same values or the same, uh, beliefs even. Okay. When it comes to, and it's okay to have different belief system as long as pe people are open-minded and they're open to learning and exploring, right? So um, I know this for a fact because from my own personal experience of the universe bringing me options and opportunities and I'm staying open to exploring them. But very quickly, I realize that if I don't feel it in the soul, you know, and if there is, if I see, you know, um, a, a lot of like a lot, like a lot of red flags, um, and it's like, and, and no, no, no action towards doing anything about it as far as like doing the actual healing work, um, then it, it it's just not going to work. Right. So it might as well not even waste any time. But again, Right now, I feel like you're just meant to focus on your purpose. And whenever an opportunity comes about for you to explore it serendipitously, it's for a reason. Def definitely explore it, right? Can I have one more for the divine masculine's energy towards the divine feminine? We have the four of cups. So this is their cup. It feels like they're, they have been in this contemplative energy looking at this cup, looking at you, feeling your energy. 
within a few months. For some of you guys, it's within a few weeks, okay? Or be between that time frame, here comes the cup, the offer to... It feels like, because it's coming this way, it feels like if the cup is coming to you, right? It's a dream and a wish come true here. So th this person here, again, is coming out of a, of a healing cycle. They see you as very rare, very beautiful, a lot of growth. They, they have, they see you as their everything. They only have eyes for you. They can only think about you, daydream about you, nightdream about you, feel your energy everywhere, especially with the star card. They see you as magical and mystical. You are a healer, okay? And you are, if you're sending them healing energy, they're definitely receiving it. Um, just by you healing yourself and your own personal growth, they can feel it because they're connected with you spiritually. So, um, so we have this beautiful Venus energy here, Aphrodite, uh, we're going through a renewal process, a regeneration process here, right? This is the destined and fated to manifest. The stars are aligning here for you. It is a wish and it is a dream. So again, there, there, there is renewed hope here, right? And faith. Uh, this person is, is going to reach out to you here and take this action towards you in faith. Uh, can you please, can I have, can you please clarify the page of cups? Yeah, look at the hanged man sideways coming out of hanged man mode very soon. And again, the hanged man, right? As I, as I was saying, it kind of reminds me a lot of the Knight of Pentacles. The hanged man sacrifices. So it's like... There's been a lot of sacrifices that's being made here in this connection for the long-term goal, right? So it's like we're sacrificing, perhaps. Sometimes we sacrifice every day, right? Sometimes if you want to save money, you put yourself on a budget, right? There, You probably don't go out as much or, you know, you can go without certain things. So while you're saving money, right? Uh, it's a sacrifice. In, sometimes we sacrifice in a lot of different ways. In this case... Well, this person I'm getting, I'm not sacrificing you anymore. He's, they're not sacrificing you anymore. In this case, we're sacrificing being physically together here while this person goes through. That's the, the separation period, right? While this person goes through their healing and their ascension to catch up to you, you know, and here they are, right? Their heart has been cracked wide open. That's the dark night. They're feeling pain, isolation, feeling alone. Okay. Feeling sad, feeling lost you know, and, um, the feeling the actual pain of separation. It's like, I need you now more than ever. Okay. Is the energy that I'm getting. So they're in the process of almost coming out of the hanged man and the magnetic pull. Like I said, especially during the dark night is super intense and strong. Okay. Um, Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands for the Divine Masculine's energy towards the Divine Feminine here. Holy. Holy. Like I said, <laughs> there's the cup, there's the cup, there's the cup. So they are waking up to, you know, to the fact that it's the, the heartache and pain, to the fact that they love you. Okay, that they are in love with you, that you are the love of they lo they're like they understand why you put up your guard here, right? They it's it's very reasonable. <laughs> it's very fair that you wouldn't want to participate in, in 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 any third party anything here, okay? They're not happy if they're still in their third party situation here. They only have eyes for you. They can only think about you. They're miserable there. Okay. Um, they, all they can do is think about you day and night. They're miserable. They're, they're unhappy. They're probably there for, uh, status or financial reasons or children or, you know, uh, assets and things like that. Right. Which we know that they are no longer, they're waking up They're in the dark night, which means they're no longer satisfied there. Okay. Uh, they're meaning the 3d stuff. The ego based stuff is no longer fulfilling this person. The superficial materialistic world is no longer fulfilling. They, they, it's too late. Their soul got activated. They're mat. They met their match. You lit the fire. You lit the spark. They saw you. They remembered you, the soul contract. Okay. That they have with you. And now it's never going away. It's never going away. It's never going to go away. It's never going to stop. 
Wow, that was intense. <laughs> it's never going to stop. It's never going to go away. They're never going to be able to run from this. You know, it's going to, I'm getting haunting them day and night. This love, this big cup. So the cup, their cup is overflowing with love. It's becoming unbearable and hard to resist. Clarify um, this four of cups here for this divine masculine. It's right. It's under within a few months. So the cup could be coming to you. It is coming to you. It is coming to you. As soon as they come out of the dark night of the soul, it's on like Donkey Kong. Okay. They're coming to you here with this cup and with their apology. Um, clarify this four of cups. Yeah, it's, it, <laughs> there is the, the five of wands here. Okay. So this is, I feel like this is the, the, the life that they're leaving behind. Okay. It could be an inner, inner conflict, inner struggle, inner battle. But again, I'm also getting them there wondering if they missed their chance, if it's too late with you. Um, because you could have other options as well here with the five of wands, but the five of wands feels like I'm going to clarify it. That's the, that's the new direction. I'm also getting, that's the apology for when you guys had conflict or bumped heads. If you had conflict and bumped heads. Okay. That there's the cup. There's the, that's why they fear you're going to reject them perhaps. Okay. They're trying to avoid this conflict, but again, there's a, there's that decision here, right? Their, their, their decision, I don't know, where was this? The decision that they're being guided to make uh, strongly. Crossroads energy here, okay? So they're at this, uh, I, I, I went blank. Let's say they're at this, I, I, I was going like this, but I heard brink. They're at this brink. Uh, but this means crossroads energy. Can I have one more on this five of wands? It feels like they want to resolve this conflict. With this cup coming in, they're afraid you might be rejected. But I also feel like this is the energy. This is their environment. Clarify the five of wands that they're so unhappy in. But it feels like they are escaping. Spaced out. Spaced out. Daydreaming about you is their great escape. Okay. From whatever's going on in their life. I'm seeing somebody here not paying attention to this noise. To this mess. Because they're, they can't take their eyes their mind, their heart, their soul and spirit away from the cup. The cup, the holy grail of love. Which is you. No more fighting it. No more resisting it. Tell me about this five of wands. There's the emperor at the bottom of the deck. They're going to come vulnerable. Like fresh out of the cocoon. And this page energy here. It's an emotional expression. A sincere expression. This person is highly creative, psychic, and intuitive. They're following their intuition. They're going to put their toes in the water. Taking that first step. Putting their best foot forward, I heard. Five of Wands. Clarify the Five of Wands. What this for? Holy. They're going to come fight for this. Is that what this is? Fight for you. Yeah, put the burden down. Okay, the, here's the magnetic pull. They can't fight it anymore. They can't, I, again, I feel like <laughs> they can't fight it. That's what this is. They can't resist this anymore. They can't fight it anymore because it's like in their face. It's in their face, okay? And you guys are connected in the heart space. You're aligned. Your frequencies, you've merged. That's why you're feeling each other so strong. You're feeling the magnetic pull so intense. It's a hard. It's I said that earlier. It's so intense. It's 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 hard to bear. It's hard to resist. It's unbearable. It's unbearable. Okay. They, they need a relief. You need a relief. Yeah, change. The cycle is changing. This person is slowly, slowly getting there. Okay. Slowly getting there. But we're going to drop this burden. Tell me, look, under the deck. <laughs> Spirit, clarify this King of Wands, please. They're going to be feeling a lot better within a few months. I'll tell you that much. They're going to get their fire back, their mojo back. They're going to be feeling inspired. Their spark is going to come back. Their confidence even, okay? This person is a leader. Ambitious, passionate. And they're going to fight for this. 
They're going to fight for you. But they're going to do it from a place of so much love. Authenticity as well, I heard. They're going to do it from a place of love and authenticity. Clarify this king of wands. Patience. They'll be having patience. It's hard for them to have patience, okay? But they're having patience because the door is closed right now. Again, there's, again, the dark, look at the mask wants to show. Look at this. Wow, twin flame again. Feeling like they can't escape it. They can't escape the signs. They can't escape it. It's following them around. Your name, reminders of you. Grief. This goodbye, you said made them feel very much abandoned. Okay. Uh, even though I feel like it's a mirroring thing. I think like every time you put up a barrier or put up a boundary and you say, this isn't for me, uh, they feel abandoned. And then when they stay where they are, you feel abandoned. So it's like a, a back and forth thing. Um, we have the doors closed, doors closed. There's a barrier, there's a blockage. Okay. Um, and, and it shoved them straight into the dark night. And that's what woke them up here with the hanged man, different perspectives and awakening and woke them up here to, this is the second time that the hanged man came out sideways today. I did an Aquarius reading and I clarified a card and the hanged man came out sideways for Aquarius as well. So we saw Aquarius here more than once. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So I may have that in your chart. Definitely check out that, uh, new moon reading I did. Um, but yeah, patience because they're needing to go through this process here, heal from their abandonment wounds. You know, this, it looks like a child on this card here, uh, wearing a child dress, the little child hands. Okay. So it looks like that. I could be wrong, <laughs> but again, it feels like it's an inner child thing here. Okay. For this person, can I have one more for this king of wands? Separation. Separation. And look, they're gaining a new understanding, hanged man, enlightenment here, okay? Regarding this, yeah, they're going to their awakening. Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> That's what the hanged man means, dark night energy. So they're going through their understanding, their different perspective, their awakening. That's why you're in separation. Trust the pauses, the delays, and the detours. Yeah, again, they feel like, they feel like their hands are tied with this third party situation here, right? Um, that they can get out, but they're, they're getting an awakening and a breakthrough and they're going to see their way out. Okay. With their third eye being open. Okay. They're going to see this. Oh my gosh. What a, what a conundrum. <laughs> How hard is this journey family? My goodness. It's okay. We're not going to manifest that. It's all a part of the process, right? Of what the separations for a reason. They need to go through their awakening and their healing. And you did too. Okay. So, um, yeah, so again, karma is going to catch up to this person if they don't start doing the right thing soon, operate from a place of morals, values, and integrity, right? What's, what, what's right for their soul? What's right for them here? Yeah, to receive numbing. Okay, they're numbing. They're numbing. They're numbing, numbing, numbing right now. Hopefully not too much numbing so that they can go through their dark night. I want to get... Um, Spirit, can you please be aware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess, equally so the qualities you don't like or your own reflection? Please tell me about this King of Wands. Clarify this King of Wands. They're having a lot of patience right now while, they, uh, while they're in the dark night. Clarify, but they are very close to coming out of it, okay? It feels like a phoenix rising here for this person. It feels like... With all this wands and momentum, the spark, the, the arrows of love shooting at this person. They're probably getting bombarded by angel numbers, bombarded by God messages from the universe, synchronicities, and signs from you. Clarify this king of, yeah, criticizing. So this five of wands, this possible, both of you guys get, got, get really passionate when you get into it, huh? An argument. That's what they're reflecting on here, Okay. Um, criticizing one another, these two can get really fiery. The king and queen of wands, pretty pissed as well. Uh, criticizing one another will only lead. So I'm getting both of you guys know really well how to push each other's buttons and how to test each other's patience. 
That's that mirroring, right? Criticizing one another would only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. I'm also getting that this, both of you guys can have egos too, right? These two, when they're fired up, okay? So, I mean, of course we all have egos, but what I mean is we can, you know, be in our egos with each other when, when shit hits the fan, right? So, but again, they're, they're going to drop their pride and ego to come and apologize to you. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we're always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So you, again, you can feel each other. You guys are, you know, they are with you. They never leave your, they never leave you. Okay. They're always with you. Okay. They're always with you. I want you to know that. And really, you know, when, whenever you feel them, that's your confirmation that they're right there with you. Okay. Whenever you feel them in your heart and you, and again, that pull, right. Uh, when they, when you think about them, they're always with you. I know it's painful. I can feel the pain right now in the heart area. I can feel it. So I, I can feel it. I can feel what you're feeling. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So that's what this person is doing. Although they can't stop focusing on you. <laughs> okay. That's why this card is here. Cause it's a reminder to tell this person to, to stop focusing on you and to focus on themselves and what they got to, you know, do on their end to, to get better. All right. So, um, Let's get your energy. Where is that other deck? Right here. Let's get your energy towards them. I want to get messages from them as well here in a bit from this twin flame. Spirit, what is the divine feminine energy here towards the divine masculine, please? You are ready to walk away. You said goodbye, but you know it's not goodbye. Right? Because you feel them. It's goodbye in the physical, in the 3D, and you're attempting to try to move on. But you know that you feel their energy in the 5D very strongly. All right. Show me the divine feminine's energy towards the divine masculine. We have the lovers in reverse. There's a There's that disconnect. There's that disconnect. Yeah, there's that disconnect. You got the five of ones. They got the five of ones. So you guys did have some, some kind of disconnect, some kind of conflict, you know, um, a disagreement, not seeing eye to eye, not being on the same page. Two people got triggered. And then you were like, bye, <laughs> right? I'm um, not dealing with it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you, you know, put me in a third party situation. Okay. They, their deception may have come. You may have learned something, discovered what, you know, that they're still entangled or it's still there, right. Or something here. Okay. And, um, all right. And, and, and very good. Good for you for, you know, practicing self-worth dignity, self-respect, and self-love, and not entangling yourself in third-party mess and drama. Look, tower moment here, right under affair. The, it could have been revealed to you that this person was still not quite available yet, not free yet, something like that, you know, or they, or maybe you've always known that they weren't and they try to come in and, uh, you know, and, and you had to do the hard thing, right? You had to do the hard thing here. And say, I love you. I do. And I want to be with you. And I want to see you. I want to feel all the things. But, you know, um, I, I can't. I can't. We can't. We can't. I can't. We can't. Because you're not ready to be all in yet. You're not quite there yet. We, us, we, me, you, us, not there yet. Okay. Uh, and that was a tower moment. Claire, what, show me the divine feminine's energy here. Your whole world came crashing down or something. Tower moments are necessary. They course correct us. They put us in an, on another path. Queen of swords. You raised your sword up. You said some things. You spoke your truth. 
You used your discernment. You stood up for yourself. Can I have one more to the divine feminine's energy? Rejection because there's another queen. And also because of your worth. We have two queens here. Back to back. Because of your worth. And then we have eight of swords here at the bottom of the deck. And it's leading to this rejection hit them straight in the heart chakra. Yeah, lots of sadness and grief here. And it's leading to a major decision. Major choice, a major decision that needs to be made. Tell me about this lovers in reverse. Two of cups. It's still, you still need, you, you may have had a disconnect, but you're still connected. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I don't mean to laugh, but it's like you, you, you had a disconnect lovers in reverse, but not really. You still connected here. My beloved, though we may be physically apart spiritually, we're always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. You got to find the humor because this is a lot of heavy energy. Um, so it's faded right under faded connection here. There's the devil. Yeah, this is why, this is why you put an end to this cycle. You put an end to this cycle here because this person, you know, is being deceptive, right? The, the devil energy, cheating, affair. They want to have an affair with you. They can't let you go, but they feel like they can't get out of their situation. But they can because there's no such thing as I can't. Everything is possible. This person needs to get out of their limiting mindset and their outdated beliefs. Tell me here about the tower. Clarify the tower, the chariot, moving you forward. The tower came in to move you forward, to get you to be unstuck from the devil energy, okay? To put you in the right path, to get you to stay focused on, on, on moving forward on the direction that you're going. The towers also comes in to help to overcome a lot of the obstacles. This is all about grabbing the reins of your life, taking control, pushing through, moving forward towards success and triumph, okay? And you are moved. This tower, this divine intervention had to happen. It had to happen. Clarify the queen of swords. Yeah, you went, you're not going to be juggled. You're not going to be juggled. You went back and forth on this, okay? And you're tired of going back and forth, going around in circles. And you had to make a hard decision to end it. Because it was to it's toxic. It's it's not what you want for yourself. It's not what you want, okay? And you told this person that they need to all in or all out. They need to make a decision, okay? And it was painful for you to do that. And you had to be very strong. We saw it. Or this is something that's still happening, okay? You may still get this tower where they're going to make a return, and they're still not out of a situation, right? But if it, it feels like this is in the energy, it feels like this already may have happened, okay? Because I'm seeing separation here, right? And But again, within a few months, there's going to be some kind of a change. Uh, clarify the Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. Three queens. So now, now I'm getting it that this is you, all you because you're the empress and the empress is all four queens in one. So again, there, there is a need here to forgive, right? And to just, I let, I let rejection. I let you go with love. I'm still sending you love and healing energy from a distance, but I'm going to stand in my worth. I'm going to stand in my worth. I have a lot of self-love. I had a lot of, I have a lot of self-worth. I have a lot of self-love. Okay. And now it's like both of you guys are feeling each other's energy even stronger now. Okay. I'm, I'm getting the king and queen of cups here in now in love, in love with each other. And uh, madly in love with each other and can't stop feeling each other's energy and thinking about each other, especially in the evening, okay, having sleepless nights, dreaming about each other. It's like after this, it, it, the, 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 it feels like after this separation or this latest tower you had, um, and the tower came in to move this forward, by the way. 
and it is moving it forward. Okay. After this, uh, separation, um, or whatever latest incident that you had or about to have, um, it's going to definitely, uh, trigger a chain of events here. It's divine intervention. This had to happen this way. Everything you said, it was channeled to you by the angels. So you, there's no right or wrong here. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the words that you say, you're a channeler. So the, the angels guided your words for everything happened exactly how it's supposed to, or is happening exactly how it's supposed to, uh, to create this chain of events. Okay. And now it's like now in this separation, the, the intensity, the intensity, the pull, the, the, the feeling each other has gotten stronger on their end, on your end. That's why we saw three swords in the heart of the divine feminine the other day and, and, and feeling orphaned, feeling sad, feeling depressed. But we talked about in yesterday or the weekend reading, how important it is for you to feel whole, that everything happens so that you can not be codependent, right? And so you can feel whole and complete as hard as it is. And I get it. I get it. For you to fill your own cup. It is especially hard when you feel that pull, right? So do the call your energy back, the let go affirmations, go into meditation, take your mind back. Take, do the let go affirmations, uh, the call your energy back, the black magic, um, to call soul retrieval as well. Okay. Because even if somebody is, is, is manifesting you from your, from their ego, from a state of lack, they can't wrap you up in the 5d. Okay. And you can feel all the negative emotions. Okay. That they're feeling or other people are feeling. Uh, ground your energy, go spend time in nature as well. It can be very helpful for you. Can I have one more on this? It's like, you still love this. If you reject, I let you go with love queen of cups, but you're being strongly pulled right here. Psychically, intuitively. That's why I stay grounded. Stay. It's like, you're staying in your worth. I'm seeing this peacock. You're staying in your pride. Okay. But you still, you, you, energy doesn't lie, right? There's still so much love here. You're still madly in love with this person. They're madly in love with you. You're madly in love with each other. And it's just a really difficult situation and circumstance to be in, you know, to uh, have this type of connection with somebody that is, you know, caught up here, feeling like their hands are tied over a situation because of money, assets, children, or whatever the case may be, Right. And you're trying to, to, to stay, to stay in integrity. You're trying to stay in your worth here and set boundaries and stay, stay true to you. Even though your heart is yearning and longing. Wow. It takes a lot of strength. Okay. To walk away it takes a lot of strength. So I salute you and I hear you and I feel you. It takes a lot of strength to emotionally, to try to attempt to emotionally detach, withdraw and disconnect from a situation that's just, uh, not ready yet, right? Not quite ready yet when you are ready, right? So it's like, you just arrived to the party a little early. Okay. Um, in the meantime, focus on your purpose and believe that what's meant to be will be, and it won't pass you by in perfect divine order and in perfect divine timing. I'm going to get you a romance angels on this. Yeah, you're, you do deserve love. So don't for one second feel or believe or think that because this person feels like their hands are tied somewhere else, that it's, that has anything to do with your worth. Okay. Uh, you are lovable. Can I have a message here for the divine feminine? And then we'll get some messages from them. Can I have a message for the divine feminine? They are crazy in love with you. Okay. Yeah, again, this is worth the wait. We're not going to stand still waiting, right? We're going to still focus on our purpose, on our family. We're letting go. We're not settling. That's what this means. We're not settling for less. We're focusing on the things that lights us up. We're focusing on our own self-love journey, on our own healing journey. You guys already know, right? We're not staying stuck. We're not staying stuck. That's why the tower came in to put to move the chariot forward, okay? Can I have... um? 
guidance with divine feminine here, spirit. Past life relationship. You have known it. Yeah, right. That's what we're talking about here. This is your past life love, your love of a lifetime in this life. Okay. The romance of a lifetime in this life, the once in a lifetime love in this lifetime. You know, I was just watching a couple of movies on um, Netflix that, that felt very twin flamey. It was um, Mother of the Bride was one of them. And the other one was uh, I Am Falling, I think. It was filmed in Cyprus, in Greece. Um, and it was about a story that, you know, they met when they were really young and they, they ended up going their separate ways, but they, it was their one true love. They were never were ever really able to move on or, or love another person like that before, never forgot each other. And then later on in life, when they were older, they had a second chance. They reunited, um, by the, by a miracle uh, by serendipity in, in one, in one situation. And the other was he went, I'm not going to tell you the story, but it was very, very much uh twin flamey. And it's like that, it's like, that's, what's reminding me of if it's meant to be right. Uh, it, it will be, and this is meant to be. So it's faded. So it will be. And when the timing is right, as difficult as it is, the, the on and off the in and out, the, the, the length of time, the separations and, you know, and the circumstances, right? Just know that what's for you will not pass you by. Okay. And, and, and you will meet again. You will meet again. And this person is going through their process that they're experiencing. Can I have one more for the divine feminine healing family issues? So again, there's still healing on your part that's taking place. Your inner child, this has definitely triggered your inner child. Okay. Triggered your codependency wounds your abandonment wounds, your rejection wounds. Okay. We saw that in this weekend's reading. That's this person's job. Their purpose is to activate you and trigger these things. Okay. So in the meantime, while within a few months, while this person is coming out of their dark night here, you're working on your inner child on, on doing forgiveness affirmations, right? And for that's on the link in the community board. Uh, working on your heart chakra, sacral chakra root, spending time with your mom and dad. If they're deceased, praying to them, connecting with them in the five in, in spirit. Right. And, um, and, and, and again, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So uh, this is not just words on this card. I remember, uh, somebody coming back into my life, uh, that they ripped my entire heart, soul, spirit out of the, the life out of me. It left me for done for left me like this returned into my life, uh, years later to, to only drop another bomb on my heart. And that was necessary. I know now that's what actually put me back in the dark night after I just finished coming out of the dark night. And now I know why that was that, you know, huge trigger had to happen because before that I didn't have, uh, I, I didn't, I thought I had fully forgiven my mom and my ex-husband, but bef before that I still had resentment in my heart towards my mom and my ex-husband come to find out because after this person came and ripped my heart out all over again, uh, after I put the pieces back, I thought I put the, all the, I thought it was whole again, I put the pieces back together where I have been. Right. I went, I, I doubled down, I doubled down on the, um, forgiveness affirmations that I have linked on the community board and on the heart chakra cord cutting. I did a lot of work. Okay. Every single day. And I suffered during that time period. I suffered. I cried a lot. I felt pain. I felt grief. I felt despair. I felt devastation. It was in waves. It came on and off because I was clearing healing, releasing a lot from my heart. I thought the suffering was never going to stop. I thought the suffering was never going to end. I thought the suffering was never going to end, but it did. It did. It ended. Um, I started to feel myself come out of it when we started to approach the eclipse season around the same time. It was retrograde season and it was um, Scorpio full moon all at the same time. That, uh, that's when I felt the relief. I felt the lift and I've never felt that liberated before. And I, and I even had a conversation with my ex-husband where I had compassion for him. 
where it was clear that I had no more resentment towards him, no more anger towards him. I uh, take my mom's calls and I look, I look her in the eyes when she FaceTimes me and I see her wounded little girl. I see the wounded inner child. I no longer have the same types of feelings that I had about her. Um, I endured a lot of abuse with, with both my mom and my ex-husband. So there was a lot of trauma there still stuck in my body that needed to come out. So this person coming back into my life, throwing a grenade in my heart again, was necessary, right? Because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have doubled down on that work. And I wouldn't have, uh, you know, re learned that I still had more healing to do in my heart area to fully open my heart. So this person pain that, you know, this, this 10 of swords, three of swords that we saw this pain that you you've been feeling lately due to this by this ending, this rejection, or this tower that you received was necessary so you can double down on this inner child work, on this uh, heart healing work, forgiveness work, to, so that your heart can fully open. Trust me, it's incredible that you'll know. It's this feeling of liberation and relief and, and freedom that um, I, 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 didn't, I didn't even know existed. It also followed by a feeling of peace, okay? And, um, and more compassion, more kindness, more generosity, more openness. And, um, and, and, and my heart started to open again for somebody. Okay. After my heart was so closed before that. And, uh, cause I pushed a lot of people away. So that's how I know I wasn't very open. And, um, just like this guy's hand here on this card that that was me. <laughs> no, thank you. Ah, good day. Good day. Right. And, um, but it's like now my heart is feeling things again for somebody and, um, and my heart is, 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 you know, I'm feeling all the feels right in the heart area. And, and it, and, and it's because of this heart opening. You can also work with Archangel Shamuel. Archangel Shamuel is, uh, linked. That meditation is linked in the, in the, in the community board. I've been doing that daily as well. That has helped me to open my heart. So do this work in the meantime, okay? Double down on that, right? Because th these are not just cards. These are not just words on these cards, okay? Yeah, so you can really be in this energy of, of you know, truly letting go and truly in this walking by faith, trusting that this situation is requiring for calling you to have faith and be in this law of attraction energy of what's for me will be for me and it won't pass me by, okay? And, 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 and this is going to happen when your heart is fully, fully open with this healing work that you're going to be doing during this time frame, right? To open your heart is going to put you in this space of trust, of peace, of faith, faith, of focusing on your own happiness, on your own life, right? No longer focusing on what this person is doing and, or not doing right for that matter. So let me get one for this divine masculine. God who's divine masculine for the divine feminine. What is the energy? So we have here, release your ex and it is safe for you to love. So again, they're in the process of opening themselves up as well. After releasing somebody here, they're being guided to release this third party so that they can open them. To, that's part of self-love. That's their self-love that they're on, their self-love journey, right? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Your good enough wound, their self-worth wound so that they can feel safe to open up to true love. Okay. Um, it is safe for you to love. So their heart wasn't open before. So this person they were with their, their, their heart was closed the entire time. So this person, that's why they weren't able to connect with them intimately or in like, like the way they do with you. Okay. On a soul level, um, it is safe for you to love for this divine masculine. Okay. They're being guided to love themselves fully to release a third party. And, um, and, and you know, and right here, Ace of Cups, right? That's what they're waking up to right now. What does this Divine Masculine want to say? Gosh, this went long. What does this Divine Masculine, King of Wands here, what does the Divine Masculine want to say to the, to the Divine Feminine? Yeah, they're, they're having a lot of telepathy here with you. 
Wow, they want to make love to you. Yeah, the passion and the fire is ignited. They want to be intimate with you. Sexual, sexual energy here. They're trying to be patient. I'm getting this person sexually frustrated. I want to hold you in my arms and feel our bodies unite as one. We are one. Don't let fear get in the way of this truth. Okay? Um, it amazes me when we say the exact same thing and finish each other's sentences. So you guys really, you know, are so compatible, right? You guys, you know, hearts that speak the same language. We have number 10, number one, number two, an energy of union, romantic message. So they're feeling, they're in their feels right now, having memories, reminiscing and thinking about you. So much so that they're sending you telepathic messages, okay, that you're receiving. I long to sweep you off your feet and shower you with my love. They're feeling all the romantic feels with all the, this cup. This rejection of yours, uh, that you rejected them, really triggered them, okay? Really, the, this, this, re, this, this rejection, when you rejected them, it really did trigger them. It really did, it woke something up within them, like their love for you, okay? It really triggered them, really, re a lot. <laughs> so... It activated them and triggered them as well. What else does this uh, Divine Masculine want to say? So they're feeling another romantic message. Another romantic message. And it looks like I'm tired of being away from you physically. I'm trying to process my fear so I can come back to you. Okay, well. And then another union message. The universe brought us together for a reason. I'm discovering what these reasons are. Look at that inner child wound here as well. My inner child was wounded when my parents couldn't respond to me the way I needed them to. I'm reacting from that wound. So they're going to show up to you in page energy through, from their inner child, vulnerable, okay? So romantic even. This person is very romantic and they're feeling all the romantic feels for you. And it was you rejecting them that created this chain of events here, okay? So... Trust the process right now, my loves. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you. God bless you. And namaste. Much love. One, one, one on the clock now.